in Michigan because of the partnership between AFSCME and the governor's office. This means that 45,000 new AFSCME members, quality child care providers, will be on the ground providing care to children. That is great for our state. And I say this as a governor that has focused on early childhood education. We are a state that is in transition. Our state has been challenged by the loss of jobs in the automotive industry. We know that the failure to enforce these trade agreements on the national level by the Bush administration, the failure, the failure to stop the outsourcing of jobs, in Michigan, that means that NAFTA and CAFTA have given us the SHAFTA. But it also means, it also means that we have to develop a workforce that makes us competitive in the 21st century in a state like Michigan. And the place to start is with the youngest children, with quality care, with people who understand the importance of early brain development, with care that is consistent, that is trained. I'm telling you, this is our economic development strategy. We are partners in making that happen. Now, that's not to say, of course, that the rest of our AFSCME family does less important jobs because they are so important. Every one of you in this hall, whether you represent people that are driving buses to get seniors to doctor's appointments, whether you are law enforcement workers helping to protect the streets, whether you are healthcare workers who hold hands and help lift up our citizens, Everyone here serves our citizens. And I have to say that as a governor of a state that has a Republican House and a Republican Senate, a Republican Supreme Court, a Republican Attorney General, a Republican Secretary of State, a Republican majority in Congress, and a Republican President, I am your last line of defense. So when the Republicans tried to pass a law that would have banned local governments from passing living wage organi ordinances, I vetoed it. When the Republicans tried to pass a law to stop our administration from issuing workplace ergonomic rules to recognize worker safety and that recognize collective bargaining agreements, I vetoed it. And like many of your states, there's a bill pending right now that would abolish collective bargaining in the state of Michigan, and I'll veto that too. I know you've all talked about what happened in Indiana, where state workers were denied the right to collectively bargain by a governor who took it away with the swipe of a pen. That is going to happen all across this country unless you elect governors who support the rights of workers. You need to do what you do best, which is to organize, to fight. When you fight, you win. Democrats, and I'm telling you, the captain of this ship of state says, instead of each man for himself, like the Republicans say on the Democratic side, we say all hands on deck. All hands on deck. All hands on deck. Man and woman, your battle stations, take it out because it is time for a fight. God bless you all. Ask me. Thank you for standing up for men and women all across this nation. God bless you all.